Hello, this is Kate. Again, it's my third video. Sorry it took so long. Finally, stole the camera from my roommate. Um, this is to the four awesome artists that reply about one of the things that they asked about. Okay. Um, first off, I just want to say that I hate gluttony. That's about it. Okay. Anyways, um, it had to do with the fact that you were thinking that YouTube you know, what if there was a day that they started to censor the artwork of people because, you know, of nudity? Well, uh, because, you know, they might think it's porn. But I think there's a distinctive difference between porn and art. Basically, <laughs> you know, I'm actually reading right now because I wrote it all down that time last night. Basically, art is there to evoke emotion, to bring something up in you make you think, to see the perspective of someone else. Porn, porn's there to make money. Yes, there are artists who mass produce copies, professional copies, of their cottages next to lighthouses, but that's not really art. Even though it's beautiful, it's, it's a franchise. They're, they're not make, they're not doing it to really do it anymore. They're doing it for monetary reasons, which I think defeats the purpose of art. Um, anywho, back to the pornographic art. Um, when I was about 12, I bought a book at a yard sale called Erotic Illustrations. And that's the glasses. Basically, I'll show it to you. It's, um, hold on, where's the camera? It's this purple book here. And it's got art in it from basically the late 1700s to the early 1950s. Of, well, erotica. And it has everything from straight to gay sex acts, orgies, fetishes, you name it. It's in this book. But it's, it's art. The difference is that these artists were trying to capture the human body, the most beautiful thing that's ever been created, engaged in some of its most intimate acts. It's, it's there to show you something that's so beautiful it's not there to turn you on and make you act upon it and spend lots of money so you can get off it's there to make you evoke emotion some of them are very simple drawings that are just quite funny actually with what they talk about or what they show others others are absolutely horrid in this book there's, there's one that shows a man who's having his way with a woman who you can tell is dead it is that well done but you know unless you bought a weird fetish for that I'm pretty sure this book will do nothing for you I mean I flipped my page I don't know I mean some of these, these uh, it talks about in the book that some of these are with the actual plates from erotica books but while it was technically the porn of the time, that was a hush hush. Very few people had them, and those who did kept it to themselves within a small group. Today's porn, you can go to the local supermarket and buy a magazine right there. It's not hidden, it's, it's in your face. Britney Spears is showing her goods to the whole entire world on a daily basis, type of thing. It's that's porn, not art. This, so, I don't think you know, that it'll ever come to the point that YouTube is going to take off artwork like that, because people will know what the intention was, not you know, to do it oh, on a totally different note, I misinterpreted one of your challenges and I didn't finger paint, but I did paint with a different um, medium besides paint, I made a self portrait using nail polish I'll show it in another video sometime. But I didn't finger paint it. No, oh, nail polish does go on your fingers. So technically, maybe I did. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, and I agree with Adam. I think that you should wear your favorite colors on your feet. Let's see if I can get my foot up here. Oh, look at a pink shoe. <laughs> so, okay. Well, um, thanks for listening. Even though I probably didn't make any sense. And have a great day. Bye guys. And